Are you looking for a space where you will learn to improve your mental strength, emotional health, and heal your insecurities from the inside out? Take the first step to living a more meaningful life with the Better Me with Body by Brie podcast. I'm your host, Brie. I'm a certified personal trainer, entrepreneur, and mother of three. I've helped empower thousands of women to take action through fitness, nutrition, meditation, personal development, and aligning thoughts with action. This podcast is for those who are ready to feel inspired and motivated to live a more purposeful life. Let's grow together. One of the most asked questions I get when it comes to working out is how to build a booty. You might be surprised that it's not just with resistance bands, and you can't really build a booty in a calorie deficit either. In today's podcast, I will cover my five tips for building a booty and some common mistakes that might be holding you back. Let's get started. Hi, friends. I feel like this is something I get asked about a lot, and building a booty actually is a lot genetic. So people are always asking me like, holy cow, what do you do for that booty? And I'm like, well, I have to tell you that like 50% of this is just, I was born with a booty. Like even when I was a little girl doing gymnastics, I just always had a booty. That's kind of my genetic makeup. So you do have a genetic makeup, like whether you naturally have a booty or you don't, But the good news is that you can always work for your booty and you can build whatever you want. So you can sculpt your body. Just some people will have a harder challenge building a booty if they're, for example, an ectomorph where they're that like tall, skinny, lean body where they don't naturally have glutes. It's harder for them to keep their muscle on their body. And so sometimes the first place that they'll lose is their glutes, which is frustrating. Whereas for me, it's like the last place I lose is my glutes. Um, and I can't seem to get all the fat off of my glutes. <laughs> so everyone has a different genetic body makeup. I just want to make sure that I address that before I go into my five tips. Um, and you cannot compare yourself to someone else's body type. I've gone over body types before. And if you want to learn more about the three specific body types, endomorph, ectomorph, and mesomorph, um, I have an entire podcast episode that's dedicated just on the body types. But depending on which one you are, you either build muscle super easily, store fat super easily, or you are a burner and you burn super fast. So it's hard to keep muscle on. So depending on which one you are, these tips can still apply to you. You just would apply them to whatever body type you have. Okay. So that's why it's important not to compare yourself to someone else who has a completely different body type than you. You have to compare yourself to the best version of you right? Because your success isn't always based off of like whether you have a booty or not, whether you have abs or not, because it might be super easy for you to get abs, but you can't build a booty and you're comparing to someone else who can easily build a booty, but has a harder time getting her abs, right? So that's why it's important to know your body type and then know what you can do with that body type. Okay, let's get into our five tips to building a booty. So tip number one is glute activation. So activating your glutes before a workout is extremely important. If you have stubborn glutes, you can activate your glutes before, either with or without a resistance band, um, before your workout. So this is going to help your mind-body connection so that when you do actually get into those heavier lifts, that you've already connected your mind with those muscles and you're able to activate them. So standard exercises like glute bridges, hip extensions, body weight squats, those can really activate your glutes and get them ready for leg day. So I, like you hear me say on my Instagram, you can't build a booty just with resistance bands, but you can always activate your glutes with resistance bands. So don't not use them. They're still an awesome way to like activate those glutes and they still have a place. Number two is multiple leg days. So I usually do two leg days a week with all different types of exercises. Um, But usually what I'll do is I'll divide it up into two 
like days. So one day is typically like my squat, deadlift, like kind of all my leg area day. And then the other day is glute isolating exercises like kickbacks, walking lunges, hip thrusts, alternating leg exercises where you're really focusing on each glute. So whenever you isolate that glute, you're going to see even more of those results because your body is working twice as hard to recruit for one side of your glute, if that makes sense. So um, focusing on your glutes and making sure that you have that mind and muscle connection can really aid in muscle growth. Also, don't forget about your hamstrings. Hamstrings play a key role in the overall tone and shape of your butt. So the hammies have a few key muscles that attach near the glutes. And the stronger your hamstrings are, the better your butt looks. Okay, so make sure that you are targeting the hamstrings. There's three different parts of your booty. You have the gluteus maximus and gluteus minimus. And so depending on Like if you're doing a hip thrust or whether you're doing like the side um, lunges or if you're doing like the walking um, side shuffles, those are all going to target different areas of your glute so that you have like a well-rounded glute. So that's why I suggest doing all different types of exercises to hit those three main uh, muscles in your glutes. Okay, I will say this is a side note. When your glutes are tight, your lower back will start to hurt. So make sure that you foam roll after your sessions and like foam roll every day and stretch to help with that lower back pain. Because whenever I have lower back pain, it's always after leg day and my glutes are so tight, it's pulling on your erector spinae, which is in your lower back. So just be aware of that. Stretch it out. Foam roll as much as you can. Okay, number three eat. You have to eat. This is the fun part. So a lot of women are so scared to do this and they never get the butt that they want because they're too scared to eat for the booty that they want. So shredding will not allow you to build the booty. You have to focus on eating healthy carbs around your workout. So that's nutrient timing. I have an entire podcast on nutrient timing, but it's eating certain amount of carbs before and after your workout. I like to eat 30 grams of carbs before and then 30 to 40 or 50 grams of carbs after my workout. And so that's what nutrient timing is, where you do a heavy lift and you make sure you're getting plenty of protein post-workout. So protein and carbs right after you're done working out, that's going to replenish and make sure that your body is able to use that muscle to build and repair. So if you're wanting to shred for a certain amount of time, I would still do glute exercises, but you won't see like a huge difference in your muscle growth, if that makes sense. Because in order to grow muscle, you have to bulk for a certain period of time. Like I'll typically do that maybe in the winter or the fall when you have, when you're like, you know, wearing layered clothes and there's it's holidays and you're not quite you know wanting to cut so pick a window of time where you can eat more and dedicate to building muscle you don't have to do this you don't some people are like that's too much and i really don't want to like work that hard but if you really do want to make a difference this will help so it allows you to increase your calories and then strategically build muscle especially after leg day okay so Your nutrition has to be on par. You cannot be eating 1,200 calories and then expect to build a booty. It's just not going to happen. Number four is power cardio. So I want you to think of cardio that activates your glutes. So like I love doing the Stairmaster, walking on a steep incline at like uh, 30% or a 10 Um, walking lunges around the track. It will really get your heart rate up. I love doing step ups. um, And this will also help with that muscle to mind connection with your glutes. And if you look at like sprinters that are doing like power cardio, sprinters have amazing booties because they are using their glutes. So if you're really serious, you can always add some sprint intervals to your Um, At the end of your workout, you don't want to do too many because you want to burn through the muscle, but 
you definitely can add that like 20 minutes of sprint intervals after your workout that will torch your glutes and you will love how your booty looks. Um, And number five is weight progression. So make sure that you're getting stronger over time. You cannot be accustomed to the same amount of weight on that barbell. You have to add weight as you go, whether it's two pounds, five pounds, 10 pounds. As you build muscle, the more weight you will need to add, the then, or sorry, as you build muscle, the more weight you'll need to add, right? So um, just be aware of that, that like you're going to get stronger, you're going to become accustomed. And if you don't constantly challenge that muscle, it will atrophy, okay? Um, and just like a little side note is that you definitely want to have enough weight that's challenging, but not too much that you can't keep the correct form. Okay. Form is number one. Always. I care the most about form. I don't want you to rush the movement. I don't want you to go too heavy. I'd rather have you do correct form so that we prevent injury. Um, And one last side note is do not be scared to lift heavy. I know you've heard this all over Instagram, but it's true. It is actually a lot harder to build muscle than you think. You have to work so hard for that muscle. So don't think that just because you're lifting every day that you're just automatically going to get that muscle. Like It takes months and months, if not years, to really, really build muscle and like develop your body. So don't be scared of it. It's harder than you think, but it will definitely pay off in the long run if you dedicate to just trusting the process, being consistent for a long period of time, and I promise you will see a difference. But it's the problem is when people just want instant results or maybe they do it for like three or four months and they're like, eh, I don't see a big difference and they stop before they can actually see a difference. You have to be dedicated to the process know you're in this for the long haul and know that like next year your glutes are going to look completely different, right? But you have to put the work in. So to recap on our five tips, we have glute activation, multiple leg days. You have to eat for your goals and for that booty, incorporate power cardio, and then you always have to do weight progression. You have to add the weight. So I hope this was helpful. If you need help building those booties, ladies, you know, that's my specialty. I love to help women build their booties. So if you have any questions, you can always check out my website, bodybybrew.com. Any of my um, programs, if you need help and you want personal training, let me know. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for joining us in today's episode. If you liked the content and want to hear more, remember to hit that subscribe button and write a review. As a small business owner, I appreciate it more than you know. If you are looking for a program to help with self-confidence, to lose weight, get in shape, and work on your mental, physical, and emotional health, check out my training programs on www.bodybybree.com. My team and I help to hold you accountable through the Body by Brie app, where you log in to see all your workouts, custom meal plan made specifically for you and your needs, and communication through the messenger. You are never alone when you're on the Body by Brie training program. Click the link in the show notes to get more information on how to transform your life from the inside out.